Now. Just a few seconds away from the stage two locks load being complete. It's been almost nine years since we've been in this position. A lot of work done by thousands of people to get to this point. All our eyes focused on two now. Stage two locks load is closed out. Propellant fills are complete. Dragon is an auto idle. Stage two locks load complete. All fuel, all oxidizer on Falcon 9. One minute, 34 seconds to go till launch. Ground gas closeouts is starting. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon is in countdown. FTS is armed for launch. Under a minute now, the FTS, the flight termination system, has been armed. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. SpaceX, Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. T minus 30 seconds. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero. Ignition. With the nominal. ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling back up. Next Dragon, nominal trajectory. All right, here in nominal trajectory, so Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal Bermuda. That's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Stage two propulsion is still nominal. Little over four minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Bob and Doug flying at more than 5,600 miles Dragon per SpaceX hour. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. Already almost 200 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Nominal trajectory continuing. And while they continue uphill, it looks like we are getting a view of the first stage as well. Yep, on your right screen, you can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a minute, uh, a couple minutes away from the entry burn, and that's where 
three of the nine Merlin engines do ignite to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And then after the entry burn will be the landing burn, which is just a single engine Dragon burn. SpaceX nominal trajectory. And you heard nominal starting chill for entry burn. There's that call out. They are still on a nominal trajectory on Dragon, still on second stage, and that's that MVAC engine on second stage on your left screen. Again, on your right screen is that first stage booster coming back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. We're about a minute away from entry burn. Meanwhile, that second stage continuing to power Dragon into orbit. Again, if you're keeping an eye on that timer, that's going to continue to burn until 8 minutes and 44 seconds into flight. So a little over two minutes from now, we'll hear the call out Seco. It'll then be a little stage under, two propulsion a little is still over, good. A little over three minutes until Dragon physically separates from the second stage of the Falcon 9 after the upper Dragon stage SpaceX gets a chance. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. Dragon copies, nominal trajectory. Continuing to check in with Bob and Doug as they are on a nominal trajectory. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage, starting that entry burn on your right screen. We should be able to see that view live. Stage one entry burn startup. And there is that entry burn like beginning. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. Well, that entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from Seco. We'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession. It'll Copy be the shutdown. second engine cutoff. Stage one we'll be looking for that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Yeah, actually, just within a few seconds of each other. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now, you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. And back throttle step. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from Seco, or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy, Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be in abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second one cutoff started. confirmation. And back throttle step. And back shut down. Did you run landing there? Confirmation of Seco second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon, you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. Launch escape confirmation system is nominal orbital Dragon insertion. Captain, nominal Stage orbital one insertion. Landing, deploy. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Falcon 9 first stage is successfully landed. And the there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry like humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see... Smooth ride uphill, both stages of the Falcon 9 doing their job, placing Bob and Doug in orbit. I mean, this is this is a day, this is a historical day. This is us kicking off that new era of space flight that we've all been talking about and longing for since the space shuttle program came to an end in 2011. Yes. And the weather, the weather cooperated. Yes. Second time's a charm. <laughs> right. All right. So day for the history books.